Oh, there you are. Woo, it's 2 a.m. Well, I think it's probably 3 by now. Not on screen patio, man. Old pictures. What do you do with them? Ain't nobody gonna want them when I'm gone. They'll probably all end up in the trash, but man, I have not had these out in years. Years. <laughs> Remember these kind? I don't know if that's gonna focus. Cub Scouts, yeah. They ain't got them anymore. And the Boy Scouts, guess, did you hear what they're gonna do? Yeah, Boy Scouts is politically wrong now. They're gonna change the name to Scouting America. Cause you can't say boy, and you can't say girl these days. Yeah, going through a lot of these, man. Where's my glasses? Let me see if I might be able to show y'all a few. And if y'all, um, some of y'all who are watching are younger, let me tell you a story. Back in the olden days, we had these big clunky cameras, and you'd have to take a picture. It had film in it. Oh, no, it was a pain. You had to load the film. And then when all, you, you might have got 20 pictures. And you didn't know what you were taking because there was no instant view. You know, you had a little window you looked through and you went, click. And when that film was done, you had to take it to the drugstore or the photo mat. And about a week to two later, you'd go pick them up. And you'd sit there, you'd get in the parking lot, you'd open them up, find out half of them didn't come out. Yeah, that's how you used to get pictures. It wasn't instant. Not everything back in the day was instant. Kind of miss that, but let's see here. Ah, yeah, that's, this is one from the, this is probably 1968. Me and my little brother, I'm the bigger one. You know, I, I, I look smart, don't I? Yeah, I don't know if y'all see that. Uh, that's too dark. But that's also 68. Playing with our wagon. It was a real wagon, too, made of wood. Ah, uh, that's probably what, second grade? That's me. I remember this. I was home on leave for Christmas, and I was sick. I was real sick and my grandma wanted to take pictures. I mean, you could tell I was not feeling good. And another one. I'll never wear a tie again. Ah. <laughs> Military ID. When did that expire? Expired in 98. I was in the reserves then. I was in reserves from 94 to 98. Uh, a lot of these, man, just, they fade over the years. Here's me and my brothers when I was a kid. I'm the one in the middle with the Star Trek looking pajama tops. Me and my father, my brother, I'm the one in a white shirt, the tallest one. You know, I'm not the tallest anymore. What is this? 1981. Ah, uh, there we are. There we are fishing in Mississippi. Check out them socks, man. We got cane poles. Check out them big old socks up to the knee with the stripes and big old tube socks. <laughs> And I went through some of these earlier, man. Probably 60% of the people uh, in these pictures are gone. No longer here. Uh, kids don't wear ties and, you know, dress shirts to get their school pictures made today, do they? Uh, here's, a, here's another one. Boy, I was sick. I think I took a 
Got got on an airplane and got sick. <laughs> Remember I was telling you about my friend Steve? Here he is right here. Uh, every one of these people are gone. That was after a night shift and working at the newspaper. Steve was so, he didn't work that night. He was so drunk and he'd roll his own cigarettes. And we're sitting at that table and he could not roll one to save his life. And then his chair just went poop. And I think I got one in here where, where he wanted to, I don't know, wrestle and psh. Man. See, I didn't always have a belly. One of the rare pictures with my mother. You ain't got many pictures of my mother. She don't like getting her picture taken. Uh, army, army pictures. A lot of army pictures. Uh. <laughs> this is 1983. Chanute Air Force Base. I was there for firefighter training. I was in the Army, but I had to go to school at an Air Force base. Yeah, I'm boring you guys. Oh! Ah, oh, there's one. That's about 1977. Yeah, it's got still got the pull-top Coke cans. I think we're stopped at a rest area. We... Go went for the summer with my grandparents. We'd always stop at those rest areas. And I always had the packs of bologna, you know, make our own sandwiches and the cooler. And man, kind of miss them days. Them days are gone for good. Couldn't really do that today, man. Too dangerous. I'd do it. Yeah, I gotta figure out something to do with them things. Go through. A lot of them are like, I don't know why, I guess back in the day when you took your film in, I always opted to get duplicates. And there's a whole bunch of them that are duplicates. Maybe I got a scanner. So maybe I'll scan a bunch of them, make some kind of video out of them. Boy, that'd be, that's going to have to be a real rainy day. Real rainy day. Now here's a whippoorwill. It is beautiful out right now. About 61. I got the fire going. Life is good, man. So I got out yesterday and did a lot of weed eating. And I got to finish today. And tomorrow... Uh, I got to gotta go do a bunch of things this week. So... Don't know. I left the dog's air conditioner. I don't know when I fell asleep. I, I, I sat in my recliner, I think about eight. And I started watching Below the Plains where the guy's digging up the old bottles. And I, I don't remember watching much of that. And the next thing I know, it's two in the morning and I'm wide awake. So and it's about a little after three right now. So I figure I'll make a movie out of it. Make a movie while I'm up. Yeah, well, my, my sleep hours are really weird right now. And I didn't take a nap yesterday. I worked really hard. So as soon as I sat in that recliner, I was out. Man, did I sleep hard. It woke up. Felt like I'm in a big fog. But right now, I'm kind of glad I woke up this early. It's nice sitting out here at night or in the morning. Listening to the whippoorwills. Don't have any traffic going by. With a fireplace going. Yeah. Yeah, man, there is. And there's another bag about this big in there, too. I don't know what to do with them. But I could see. I mean, a lot of them are faded. And I could scan them and probably enhance the coloring. I've done that before. And kind of preserve them that way. But I don't know who, who would want it. Who would want them? You know, who would want to see that? It would just be for my own viewing pleasure, probably. And I, you know, you look at a picture enough times, you, you got it memorized in your head. 
I don't know what to do with them. Tell me. I'm not, I ain't making a scrapbook, so don't give me ideas like that. That's what women folk do, make scrapbooks. Chances are 90 to 95% I'll never do nothing with them and put them back where I got them in my little safe box and be done with them. Probably look at them again in another five years or 10 years. I think it's probably probably been 10 years since I've pulled that bag out. They don't even make baggies this strong anymore, man. This was made in America, probably. That baggie's probably been from the early 80s. <laughs> Nothing's made good anymore. Ah, listen to that. I don't know what happened. I used to have some lights in here around my windows over there. You can't see. And the plug's gone. That you plug it into the wall. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to have to tear them off, order some new ones, because I like them. You can come out here and put the lights on, put some music on. It was relaxing. Yeah. And some reason I put this rug in here and it shrunk man it's like eight inches away from the wall over there and it shrunk well it's good there that's where it was but I don't know I don't know if it's the humidity or what or it's just it's not sitting flat I need to stretch it out but I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the real, this is a cheesy indoor outdoor roll up carpet I got off of uh, Amazon. So I think I'm probably gonna go to Lowe's and get it really fit good. I gotta get these corners finished in here. I've got an idea for that. Everything I ordered for the, to finish these corners is upstairs in the loft. They're in big boxes. It's gonna be cool if I ever get to it, which I will. Uh, I'm going through an energy spurt this week. I got a lot of energy and I'm trying to knock this stuff out. And as I said in the video yesterday on my other channel, you know, when it's nice like this, I'm not going to be in the house working on the kitchen or things like that. I want to be outside uh, in, when I can because before we know it, it's going to be too hot and I'm not going to be able to get anything done outside. So a lot of that... I, I mean, as far as cleanup or anything like that, it's all been done. It's just uh, keeping the weeds down and, you know, there's a few more things I need to do out there. But uh, weed eating, that's two or three day job that I'm, that I'm involved with right now. And then I'll have to do that again until probably August. You got to knock it down at least three times in the summer or it gets way out of hand. And there's certain weeds and things out there that grow that as they get older, they get really hard like little saplings. And there are tree saplings you got to take care of. I mean, if you don't get them down when they're young, it's a pain. And I worked way too hard to clear all these woods on that side and in the back to let it all grow back. But I imagine 10 years down the road, I may not be able to keep up with it anymore. But for now, I can gonna work on staying healthy and in shape getting much better shape what is that out there? oh never mind so anyway I just uh, thought I'd get on and make a short morning podcast out on the screen patio there's a lot more I can do in here uh, I could enclose it for the winter I don't know uh, I think I'm, I've been coming out here more. I hadn't really used it much, but I've been coming out here more the last few weeks, especially since I straightened it out and got all my junk out of here. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get back in there and get this on. I know a lot of you are probably sleeping right now, but I'm always up. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.